Hi, my name is Steve Grace with Train Technical Service Training, a part of Train University. And I'm here to do this, did you know, talking a little bit about water flow and delta T in gallons per minute. So our evaporator flow basics, we're concerning water here, so we're not talking about glycol. But the delta T that you will get from your evaporator is actually in correlation to how many gallons per minute per ton that you have flowing through your machine. So we can see here at 1.2 gallons per minute per ton, that evaporator would do a 20 degree delta T. And all the way down here at six gallons per minute per ton, that machine would only be able to produce a four degree delta T. Once you know what your gallons per minute flow is through the chiller, then we can run this formula, GPM times delta T divided by 24, to determine how many tons that machine is actually doing. So an example would be, let's say we have a machine that's running at 2.4 gallons per minute per ton. That machine should be doing, when it's fully loaded, a 10 degree evaporator delta T, difference between entering and leaving. So if I had a 100 ton chiller, that would mean that I would be pumping 240 gallons per minute through the chiller, and a 10 degree delta T would confirm that. 